both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here we're ready to go he's not in a good spot here guys he simply needs to find a way to regroup and there's a kick It's truly amazing to me how Bobby Roode has the WWE Universe eating out of his hands. With a simple motion, he can get every single person in the crowd to scream, Glorious! It's just amazing. Glorious! Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah! Not you, Byron. Sit down and shut up. Oh, if I could bring up Glorious and Hallelujah again real quick. I spoke to Bobby Roode the other day, and he said, I'm the only guy here allowed to say his catchphrases. Sorry, gentlemen. Wait, wait, are you serious? Yes. No, no you can't be serious. I'm dead serious. No, Bob. no, no, I don't believe it. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. He delivers a hard clothesline. In a savage clothesline. I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. You know, guys, I can't think of too many superstars who have had an immediate impact upon arriving here in WWE as Bobby Roode. I'm not so sure Natalia should be strutting around like this. At least not yet. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Look out, look out! Just a hellacious power slam. This could be the turning point, Cole. Things just went from bad to worse for Bobby Roode. To Byron's point about Bobby Roode's immediate impact, it's likely because Roode has spent his entire career readying himself for the big time of the WWE. And during that time, he shared the ring with some of the best ever. I'm talking about Ric Flair, AJ Styles, even Sting. This could be it. Takes him down with a power slam. Nobody does it quite like him. Just before three. That was real close. A glorious kick out. Gonna take more than that. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE locker room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in... There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. He's inflicting some serious pain here. By earlier, you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed pointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. 
something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. And it's Natalia with the reversal. She's got the skill and the stamina to really do some damage here. Oh, I think this man means business. He's on his heels. Corey, you touched on this before, part of it. I'm not sure how much he has left. Natalia definitely has a few things to say about it. Mickey James was able to get out of there. In off the tag. Looks like he's pinpointed in the back. Natalia says, not this time. What's this from Natalia? The sharpshooter, Byron. Incredible. And he escapes the submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. Natalia beginning to stumble a bit. His hopes of winning this tag team match are starting to dwindle. He needs a breather in a bad way right now. If he could just make it to his corner and make the tag. Don't write him off just yet, guys. From what I see, these guys are pretty evenly matched at this point. Clearly on a mission here. Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. He's in a little bit of trouble now. And at this point, you have to wonder if he can recover from this. In a back-and-forth match like this, he has to do everything in his power not to let his opponent gain too much momentum here. You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. by this man. A lot of pride on the line here in this tag team encounter, but only two of these competitors will end up getting what they came for. The win. He's inflicting some serious pain here. How's he getting away with this is beyond me. Natalia's done playing. The sharpshooter, Byron. That should do it. Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. Tagged in. James making a move. Oh, spiking DDT. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Natalia's chances just went from bad to worse. Is that enough for the win? They did it. They won the match. That match deserves another look. Here we go. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. I could watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. Here are your winners, Mickey 
James and Bobby Lashley. That's a big win, although there was a moment there where I thought it was going to go the other way. Few things are more rewarding than that feeling of keeping your opponent's shoulders down for the three count. And folks, just to confirm, yes, the San Antonio crowd really is as lively as they sound.